Serach, Ecclesiasticus 14. Blessed is the man that has not slipped with his mouth and is not pricked with the multitude of sins. Blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in Yahweh. Riches are not comely for a niggard, and what should an envious man do with money? He that gathers by defrauding his own soul gathers for others that shall spend his goods riotously. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envies himself, and this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he does good, he does it unwillingly, and at the last he will declare his wickedness. The envious man has a wicked eye. He turns away his face and despises men. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion, and the iniquity of the wicked dries up his soul. A wicked eye envies his bread, and he is a niggard at his table. My son, according to your ability, do good to yourself, and give Yahweh his due offering. Remember that death will not be long in coming, and that the covenant of Sheol is not showed unto you. Do good unto your friend before you die, and, according to your ability, stretch out your hand and give to him. Defraud not yourself of the good day, and let not the part of a good desire overpass you. Shall you not leave your travails unto another, and your labors to be divided by lot? Give and take and sanctify your soul, for there is no seeking of dainties in Sheol. All flesh waxes old as a garment, for the covenant from the beginning is, you shall die the death. As of the green leaves on a thick tree, some fall and some grow, so is the generation of flesh and blood. One comes to an end, and another is born. Every work rots and consumes away, and the worker thereof shall go with all. Blessed is the man that meditates good things in wisdom, and that reasons of holy things by his understanding. He that considers her ways in his heart shall also have understanding in her secrets. Go after her as one that traces, and lie in wait in her ways. He that pries in at her windows shall also hearken at her doors. He that lodges near her house shall also fasten a pin in her walls. He shall pitch his tent nigh unto her, and shall lodge in a lodging where good things are. He shall set his children under her shelter, and shall lodge under her branches. By her he shall be covered from heat, and in her glory shall he dwell.